Les here from Thailand. Today's video is going to be about explaining about if our life was like a tape measure. Eventually the numbers run out. So let's say we all had a metre of life, 100 centimetres, so for every centimetre that equates to one year of life. So I'm 58 now as an example, so I'm 58 centimetres along my metre of life. So, okay, let's start at the centimetres. So for the first 17, 18 centimetres of your life, you are at school learning things and doing things that you're really being told to do by going to school and one thing or another. You might have had the odd holiday with your parents whilst you're growing up through them 18 years. And you get to 18 year old and you might think, oh, okay, I'll go to university. So for those who go on to university, that might take them up to 23 or 24 age and that's 24 centimetres of your life gone. So now you're a quarter of a way along your metre of life. So for say from 24 working up to 65, the age of retirement now in England has gone up to 67. So then 67 year old, that is 67 centimetres along your metre of life. So then that only leaves you 33 centimetres of your life left to enjoy the things that you want to do. So my advice from up to now is work to live, don't live to work. You don't have a long time left once you reach retirement as to how much you can enjoy your life and what you can do. Okay, we all have holidays whilst we're working and things like that, but that's maybe three or four, five weeks a year if you're very, very lucky. So what you can do in that amount of time. I discovered in 2002 uh, the simple way of living life. Don't look for possessions. Don't look for things to like brag about, like a big, big five, six bedroom house with its own, you know, stables or a Mercedes car or a BMW car. Just look at the simple things in life. All you need is enough money to get by and then enough enough things to make you happy. I used to belong to the Mr. Jones. In England we have an expression keeping up with the Joneses. Well I was Mr. Jones. I had the best car, the best house, best caravans that I could afford. And yep, I enjoyed it. But boy did I work for it. I'm working seven days a week. Four jobs to try and keep up with the keep up with the Joneses. And now I just live a very, very simple life. I don't own my own house, I rent a house in Thailand, I can move anywhere I want to within the country or anywhere in the world really. So I'm lucky I retired at 50 years old so that was halfway through my metre of life. So for eight years I've been travelling around the world in Europe and now I've lived in Thailand for six years but even within them six years of life I've been traveling all over Thailand, I've been to China, been to Japan, been to Bali, we're off to Vietnam in March. So I live my life, I love my life, I enjoy what I do. There's a saying that I heard the other day, I don't want to retire from being retired. A fantastic saying, because I enjoy it, I don't work. Um, Thankfully, if I, I have enough money on my pension that I get from work, and that is enough money for me to live on here in Thailand. Thailand can be a cheap place to live. I'll do another video one day with regard to housing costs, um, eating costs, and virtually everything that you can that you can think of. It is very, very reasonably priced to live over here. Blue skies behind us. 31 today and this is in the winter so this is the cool period so you can change your life you just need to have different views on what you want and what you need i used to be a materialistic person i wanted all the best things and now that doesn't bother me as long as i have enough food nice house to live in which is reasonably priced i've got a car i've got a motorbike i've got everything i need it's not brand new car but I've got what I want, what I need. I can go where I want, do wherever I want. 
Um, I have a beautiful wife, we go together, we enjoy life. So, enjoy your meter of life. Think about when you're going to retire, what you're going to do, where you're going to go. Because when you retire, wow, does the time go very, very fast. So let's use the age at 65, that you retire at 65. So let's say you've got good health for another 10 years. So then you're 75. Then maybe things will start going wrong, arthritis, joint pains and things like that. So in reality, you've only got then 10 years to live and do all the things that you want to do. I'm lucky, I've done many, many things in my life. I've paraglided, scuba dived, parachuted, flown in a stunt plane, uh, traveled many, many places around the world, been around the world on, on a year, one year around the world trip, worked and lived in all over Europe. That's because I've decided that I want to get out the box. I don't want to live in the box that everybody works, then they work until they retire, then once they're retired, you put your pipe and slippers and you just watch Coronation Street. No, I've never been like that. I've always lived outside of the box. I always want to do something exciting and it's within everybody's capabilities of doing it. So if you like this video, please like it and share it and subscribe and please watch the rest of my videos. Until the next time, from Les, retired and living the dream, bye for now.